What's going on everybody on YouTube? Griffin here coming back to you guys with another informative video. Um, I'm going to start trying to do just more instruction videos for everybody that's going to be tuning in new to the channel as we're continuing to build this awesome community of like-minded individuals. So if you're new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button below. We'd love to have you here. And even more so, we'd love to have you in our totally free Discord group chat. That is one of the first links in the description box, I believe. I usually put it in there. If not, uh, definitely just yell at me in the comments and I'll get it to you directly. But um, like I said, I'm going to start doing these instruction videos a lot more and just upload them. That way I can stay a lot more on topic because I notice when I'm live, I can tend to kind of just go from uh, one topic to another. And with these instruction videos, I'm going to try to just get right to the point and just go over a few examples of whatever it is from iron condors, vertical spreads, which we're going to talk about obviously here and so on. And it's just going to be easier to stay on topic. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the videos and I'll keep adding these to the stop market lessons playlist. Um, and you can check that out. It's got like, I think 30, 40 videos in it now, but um, let's just get right to it guys. So we're going to talk about a short put vertical spread and how you can use them to create again, another source of passive income. So this is pretty much whenever you're thinking about your iron condor, when we think about our iron condor, we have our, what I call the bullish side and the bearish side. So the downside, the upside, right? So whenever you're thinking for your downside, that is your short put vertical spread side, essentially. So that's one way to think about it. And pretty much um, what we're thinking here is, okay, I think SPY could come down to this level, but I don't think it's going to come past it. So even though it's a short put vertical spread, you're still, you're still taking a bullish position on it but you're buying a little bit of insurance as you can see right here this is just one that I just set up briefly you're taking a little bit of a risk $37 for potential profit to 13 64% chance of profit but you're betting on that it's gonna stay above 270 as SPY right now is around 273 so as you can see this this right now and of course this is based on the market close at 272 you'd have a 64% chance of profit on a on a um, 270 to 269 vertical put spread so after your fees and commissions you're talking ten dollars on this trade obviously the commissions is only going to be two dollars and the estimate fee is only 27 cents so you're keeping a little bit more money than your iron condors of course and um, your price reduction of course is still going to be 39.27 so if we wanted to do the math on that from a percentage standpoint which is obviously the most important thing at the end of the day $10.73 of profit divided by $39.27. And this is just a four day also keep in mind. So you're talking about making 27% on your money in four days. Another way to make 10, 20, 30% on your money in just days. So if we divided this by four days, which is how long you'd hold this till expiration in hopes that they expire worthless, of course, you're talking about almost 7% a day, 6.83% profit per day. Awesome, awesome profit. Now, me personally, it's a little bit too much risk. Um, obviously, I personally think SPY is going to come down to 270 before it ultimately continues to go higher. So what I'd probably do for this trade is just buy myself a little bit more um, of a cushion. You can see our potential for profit went up about 4%, close to that 70% threshold that I like so much. And what do you see right here? Our max loss didn't really change. It changed slightly, and our max profit changed slightly but our potential for profit is still higher so again we can do the calculation real quick I don't know why I exited the calculator eight dollars and seventy three cents divided by forty one dollars and twenty seven cents of profit you're talking still a twenty one percent return on your money we divide that by four and I mean you can just keep going on keep going on keep going on until you found a comfortable range where I have a 75 80 percent chance of profit for example and I'm still gonna make five to ten percent for the week whatever your goal is you just have to kind of sit here and play with the numbers my goal in all honesty is around ten percent a week so what I would do I mean obviously you, you want to make the max that you can make right but at the same time you want your potential for profit to still to be high enough to where you're not sitting there just stressed out about your trade all week so what I would do personally is go ahead and bring these a little bit further so now we're up to 
a 74% chance of profit, which I like. We're down to 267 now, meaning that SPY would have to drop about $5 from where it was at close. And again, our profit and max we have to put up didn't change an awful lot. So we're talking about 473 off of a 4527. If we want to break that down, $4.73 divided by a 45.27 investment. Again, boom, there we are, right on our target for the week. 10.44, technically 10.45% profit. So that would be where I'd probably submit my trade. And I would honestly feel very good about this trade because, again, as long as SPY stays at or above 267, I'm going to collect my full 10% profit for the week. So now, this is where it gets more fun, guys. I need a drink real quick. I apologize. This is where you start to get really enthused. So a lot of people, they think negative, which don't think negative, first of all. Think about the fact that you're making 10% a week. Imagine if you do 10% a week, every single week, 52 weeks out of the year, how much your account is just going to mathematically explode. Now, obviously, you're not going to do 10% every week. You're going to have some weeks you do 7, some weeks you do 20, some weeks you do minus 5. It's just obviously all about covering the profits, cutting your losses at the end of the day. But you guys know what I mean. If you could average just 10% every single week on average, you're going to watch your account just mathematically explode. But this is where it really gets fun, guys. So we know that we're going to make roughly, what was it, roughly 4 to $5 per position. So let's say you're trading with a $10,000 account, which I know there's a lot of people out there that do. So I always say don't trade with more than 10% of your account roughly. Even if you're super, super confident, maybe 12 to 13 at the highest. But I rule thumb say just do not trade with more than 10% of your account, especially once you start trading with the big money, 5, 10, 25, 50, $100,000. So let's say $10,000 is your account and you're like, okay, I'm super confident in this spy trade. I'm going to go ahead and take a 10% stake, like my account. I'm going to put 10% of my account into this trade. So I'm going to put roughly $1,000 into this trade. So we're going to get it pretty close to $1,000. As you can see, we go just over it, so 10.01%, something like that. And we're going to collect $135 pretty much in just four days. And if you had done this trade today, Monday, you probably would have collected like 150 roughly, uh, because you would have had a whole nother day of premium, essentially, that you're collecting, theta, all that good stuff. But point being, you're talking 135 day, 135 days, $135 off 10% of your account. So, again, imagine that you have $135, and again, 10% of your account Obviously, this is all perfect world scenario, but let's say all, all of your other 10% of your account, let's say all your trades ideally were 10%, 10%, 10%, 10% of your account, etc. And you did roughly $135. You take that times 10, 10% times 10%, oh man, 10% times 10 would be 100%. You take that, you just made $1,350 for the week. If you did that every single week, you're talking about $5,400. You do that times 12 months you're replacing most people's income at that point. Now, obviously, that's a perfect world, and that's based off of you only doing 10%. And again, this is a safe trade. I can't stress that enough. 74%, I mean, there's safer trades out there. I mean, in all honesty, I'd probably still be a little bit on the more safe side. I'd probably push these up to like 266. At this point, we're at 100, well, 170, 77%, which is super safe if you ask me. And um, $161 off of a $1,000 investment. You're still talking, what, roughly, uh, I don't know the exact amount. Let's just see here. Let's look after fees and commissions. 135 divided by 1,015. I mean, you're still going to be looking close to your, what, like 10 to 13% profit. I think it's about 13% profit, actually. 133 or 134.74 divided by 1,015. 26 yeah 13% profit because you're saving a little bit um, on your fees like the more you buy etc whatever but either way 10 to 13% profit in a week I mean you just can't 
I don't care how many calls you do, how many puts you do, there's no safer bet. And that's what I like about trading iron condors, trading vertical spreads, even strangles, all that good stuff is this is like job, for, this is job friendly. I mean, a lot of people like me, I'm going to get up at, well, I get up every morning, usually around 4.35, sometimes 5.15 in the morning. And pretty much from then on, I mean, I do my morning ritual, workout, meditate, all that. Then I go to work for seven, eight, usually 10 hours or so a day, usually 10 hours or more a day. I don't have time to just be sitting here looking at my trades, managing my trades. I look at my trade, I would look at my trades maybe one, two, three, five at the max if it's a super volatile day. Two to five times a day is all the time that I have. Pretty much the time that I just go boom, unlock, and I just won't be able to look. And that's it. And the fact that this has a 77% chance of profit, and you're talking 13% return, this could be a source of passive income if you really dedicate the time, effort, and energy to just study charts. Because how did I come up with like 270 and 266? Well, obviously we can see we tested the February lows, which I'm not too worried about. But then I saw that there's some solid support here right around what 270 you can see it was a resistance for a little while whenever we were covering the first time and then it ended up acting as a support 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 resistance for a minute so now I expect it to act as a support again that's why I said 270 so I mean you could just always go about trying to find ways to maximize the profits and take on obviously the more profit you're wanting the more risk you're taking on. So you just have to find that happy medium, which is why I said 266, because do I think it's gonna come all the way back down to 266 this week? Absolutely not. It's gonna have to drop another, just based off of the close, it's gonna have to drop around, what, another 3% almost, 2.5%. I just don't think it's gonna happen personally. It could happen, of course, but again, you're always taking on some sort of risk, that's why this trade is still only showing 77%. But I mean, the fact that I have a 77% chance to make $135 off of a $1,000 investment in four days, I'll take that any day of the week, right? And I could go on and on. We could do just example after example. You guys know my favorite things to trade are SPY, Apple, XOP. Those are the main ones. Apple has been just paying people a lot lately. And let's just say we went ahead and did a Apple one. So I would personally probably do a 180 and 185. So again, 77% profit, right around where we'd love to be. $43 profit, $457, talking 40. So this one is just under 10% if you bought one for the week. And then let's say we went ahead and decided to step our game up. Let's say we wanted to do about a $2,000 position. 160, so see, we're still a little bit under 10%, but still, I mean, you can do 5, 10, 15, 20%. I mean, literally, if you were like, well, I want more than 10%, then by all means, do go ahead and pull this down to 190. I, you guys know I don't think Apple's going under 190. So, I mean, if you want, you see your potential for profit goes down over 10%, but you're talking a lot more money, a lot more moolah. You can see $410 off of a pretty much $1,600 investment. Let's do the math on that. Let's just say 411 divided by, and we'll say 1590 divided by 1590. You're talking 25, 26%. So again, what happened there? Our profit that we would make went up almost triple, but we also lost 10% potential for profit if we held to a close. So you're taking on risk, but if it if it pays a 64% is still not a bad, I mean, it's above a toss up. You're talking a two out of three chance on collecting all that money. And by the way, you can close this early guys. You're just going to have to pay the commissions and everything too on the backside. So say you wanted to do this trade, but you only had the money to do uh, one. You're still going to make good money because let's say you're only able to hold this for two days. Let's say two days, this was dropping down to like 191 and you're like, I want out. You're still gonna collect roughly after the commissions and fees and whatnot. You're probably still gonna collect roughly fifty dollars. So I mean, wham! You collected fifty dollars in two days. 
I mean, I'm personally probably, you guys know I love iron condors. I'm probably going to trade iron condors and vertical spreads here on out. I'll discuss um, the opposite side where you're betting on the highest you think a stock or ETF is going to go. Um, the, the short call vertical spread. Uh, we'll talk about that in the next video. But hopefully you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, definitely make sure to smash that like button. I greatly appreciate it. And like I said, if you're new to the channel, definitely consider hitting that subscribe button below. We'd love to have you here and joining our community of like-minded people. We're now over 425 subscribers. So that is awesome stuff, of course. But until next time, guys, keep on going out there, making those profits, covering your profits, and achieving some financial freedom this year. And I'll see you guys either in the next stream or the next video. Take it easy, guys.